Welcome back to VID Machine. You're watching with Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Arkbound Ravager. Kaboom, oh yeah. Kaboom, oh yeah. Kaboom, oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. It's a Ravager, a scavenger, a Ravager. Disciple of the Vault and the Artifact Lands are here. They are banned in Popper, banned in Marvern with a steal. Over, Overseer. I have offended you again. So I guess this is the end, because everybody knows you're such a snowflake and you're just quite upset at every single thing we said. Everybody knows it's all just in your head, yeah, yeah, head wasted, feeling the wind speaking. You know I have crossed the line when I said that you were mine. Going skiing, no hard feelings. Since you will not be my girl, this is the end of my own world. Welcome back. Ah, welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Machine Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. Back then in Mirrodin, uh, Mirrodin Dark Steel and Vifdon, um, a bunch of cards came out known as the Ravager cards. Of course, Arcbound Ravager. Comboed with Disciple of the Vault and Artifact Lands, a bunch of uh, Ornithopters, Shrapnel Blast, and the Key State Card Thoughtcast to draw cards, and of course, uh, the Ultra Band Skull Clamp, which immediately got banned the moment that um, people saw that it was super powerful and gave card advantage. And uh, the deck was lightning fast. I mean, Artbound Ravager decks ravaged the board and it was the only deck being played actually not everyone was playing anything else but affinity so they had to ban almost everything in there quite unpopular then came the watered down set kamigawa which people weren't generally happy about so they just decided to um axe that and then pick up the power late in later sets to come and up to now the artifact lands are banned in modern but the newer ones, the indestructible ones, aren't the dual artifact lands because they come into play tapped, I guess. <laughs> well, magic has gone a very long way. So is Wizards of the Coast. Okay, The first step in improving your company is by admitting that you made a mistake, that you were wrong. And uh, that's what happened this past week. Wizards of the Coast... Hasbro finally admitted because of their dismal quarter four earnings or quarter four 2022 earnings, they finally admitted that they did not actually make that uh, they made a huge mistake with Magic 30th by excluding players, telling players that they were too poor to celebrate Magic the Gathering charging a thousand dollars for four packs of proxy cards which weren't even legal just to get around that promissory estoppel loophole i mean man they didn't actually think that they could hide the results forever when the earnings came they said the sale was concluded blah 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 we'll make it look like it so it didn't sell out so basically that's that so what can wizards of the coast do Release a more cost-effective version of Magic 30th. Real cards. Real cards. You can have dual lands in it. You can have revised cards in it. You can have Alpha, Beta, Unlimited. You know, just price it fairly. Make it like $4 a pack, $5 a pack. I mean, it won't kill them to come up with like an $80 booster box where people can play or get cards from previous sets make the cards not make the cards only vintage and legacy legal or commander legal something tap into the commander market the commander players have all the money you guys are gonna make a fortune and people who wanted to have collectors who wanted to have the hands at the modern cards will get the modern cards so the investors are out of a picture now as they have already dumped all of their reserve list cards. Reserve list cards are flooding the market. Commander players are slowly picking up those reserve list cards and adding them to their decks. 
is very more accessible now. Legacy and Vintage is going to be more accessible now because Legacy and Vintage players are going to be picking out those Commander cards, as well as reserve list cards as well. And to just make a product that will make everyone happy. And I guarantee you, you won't have to worry about your earnings anymore. That product is going to sell itself. And players will finally belong and finally feel happy once again. And of course, once again, this is the ID Machine with the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy signing off. Raju!